Hello guys, welcome to this week's video. Um, I'm gonna take you with me today. I've got a cool day. We've got the acupuncture guy coming. He's a vet, but he does acupuncture only. Um, and I got to exercise a few horses. And yeah, I thought I'd take you with me. Um, I do apologize if it looks like I have some sort of stable stain on my forehead. Uh, I've, I seem to have taken up trying to uh, be a bit more um, well, I look after myself a bit better. And I was uh, in Boots the other day, just picking up a few things, and they had some like facial tanning drops. So I thought I'd give them a go, and I shouldn't have because it looks like I've got a post stain on my forehead. I've tried to get rid of it. I don't think I've done very well. Anyway, I've got a few things to talk about today. Uh, I'm going to be doing some pole work with Zora, and yeah. They, um, they can't be exercised on the same day that they have acupuncture. So um, I've got to work the ones that are having acupuncture before they're having acupuncture. So off I go. Beautiful day. Spring has sprung in the UK and it's so wonderful. Uh, I'm feeling a bit more kind of optimistic about life in general. I've just done my morning routine. I ate yogurt and granola. I did my yoga. Um, in terms of yoga, if you guys are interested in yoga, my lovely yoga teacher, Kat, has started a membership program. I'll put all of the details below, but she's gonna be doing live yoga classes and meditations and, yeah, if you guys wanna know why I just feel so different these days and so much more able to cope with all of what I'm doing, which is a lot, then yoga is one of the things that is played a huge part in that, um, especially when it comes to my comp competition nerves, being able to meditate and learn about breath work, that kind of thing, and Kat is the person who has taught me everything I know. Um, so yeah, I'd love, I'd love, love, love for a few of you guys to sign up, or lots of you guys to sign up for her membership program because I think uh, I think more of us could do with a bit of space in our lives and that is what yoga gives you. It gives you space, it gives you time, it's my self-care, it's what I do to look after myself. So yeah, I will put all of the details in the description below, but I wanted to get that in here now because I don't want you guys to leave while I'm still talking about something really important. Anyway, right, let's go and do some horses. I've got my flapjack that I made at the weekend and a cap because it's sunny. So yeah, let's go. Oh my God, look at the state of him. Oh, that pony is no longer white. Oh my God, that was such a bad shout, not putting him with a rug on. This yard is a sinkhole for hoof picks. I have been looking for a hoof pick, of which at one point I counted them all up, collected them all up once. We had ten. And now I can't find a single bloody one. Not a single one. This is not interesting content. I agree. This is not an interesting part of my day. I agree. First up, little hack for Mo in her lovely bridle that she now loves. I must do a bridle fitting vlog because it's so important about where the buckles sit the type of bit you have in your horse's mouth. I will do this. I just had a lot of footage and it all went missing on the other phone. That was complicated. My phone died. I don't know if you know that. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that. Anyway, we're just uh, walk cracking at the moment because she was a bit lame and so she's on a bit of butte and we're just walk cracking until she is feeling better again or not. And then maybe that's all we'll ever do again. I don't know. Kind of not, not, um, like deciding it basically but yeah she went really quite lame and it was really sad so just looking after her carefully and doing some slow work until she's feeling stronger again you're having acupuncture today though aren't you darling because that's your favorite all right come on let's get on then hi robin hi freddy Having a great time. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's very fancy trotting there, sir. Hello. Are you having a nice time? 
<laughs> Bye. Be good. Best girl is certainly feeling better. She um she was really quite lame and it was really hard because I she had been going so well and obviously we'd been to a few shows and it's really difficult because it seems to be made worse when she goes in the field which it's not great because you think well how am I gonna I don't know you know what I mean it's not an easy thing to come to a conclusion with but I'm um, just kind of being very careful with her she goes in the field a bit she hacks a bit and she seems pretty happy to me so I'll just kind of keep going with her but she's 16 now and I think I have to be really realistic about what my expectation is with her um, because I have training liveries that obviously pay the stables are paying when you have a horse that kind of doesn't have a role so much or a job I have this like internal pressure on me to make every stable kind of practical and useful and I think I need to let go of that when it comes to her because she's done she's done her job for me she did it before when we jumped big jumps and when we you know she has taught me more than I thought she ever could kind of thing um so yeah I'm really trying hard to kind of let go of that expectation and it's quite liberating because I just get to enjoy her again and um, without any pressure and she's certainly pretty happy with that fact so we just go out for a little mooch in the field over the road um, you know like 20 minutes and then she does a lot of hand grazing and um, or we'll do some hacking and snacking as well apparently don't go on the field where are you going wild thing she basically does what she likes I try and make it out like I'm in control or planning it but not really. She is literally about to go and walk through a ploughed field. Horses are pretty stupid. There's loads of grass here. Why doesn't she just eat the grass? Anyway, right, I better go and concentrate. Keep listening to my audiobook. I'm listening to The Secret. It's very powerful stuff. I don't know. I'll let you guys know when I'm suddenly a millionaire and have worked it all out. It definitely is very interesting though about like the, the law of attraction, which by the way is basically what The Secret is, that what you think comes to you if you think about it enough so negative things they will come to you and I've been talking about this a lot on my Instagram and I think I find <laughs> I was going to talk about this YouTube is really hard because I talk about so much stuff all the time on Instagram that when I come on YouTube I feel a bit like sometimes I'm regurgitating it saying it again so yeah for like day-to-day -day stuff that I post um Instagram is the place if you want more Miriam in your life I don't know whether that's a thing but uh, I've been talking about reframing negative thoughts recently so basically when you think of something negative sorry I just saw a gigantic bird in the woods thought the apocalypse was coming when you think of something negative so for example uh, why is this happening to me you know everyone said that like why does it always rain on me that kind of a thing you have to reframe that and think why is it what is the what can I learn from this what can I take from this moment this negative experience this hardship this difficult time and it's pretty remarkable the other one that I shared recently was that feelings last 90 seconds in our bodies so if you have a feeling a feeling of love or a feeling of hate or anger or frustration it will only last 90 seconds in your body if you choose to allow it if you keep giving it thought that or time then it will last longer so for example my way of doing this and this is not my own I've you know this is someone has been somebody I was listening to on a podcast spoke about this that if you feel a feeling so f you feel frustrated with somebody breathe it in acknowledge it I feel frustrated I understand this frustration why do I feel this frustration I'm gonna let that frustration go it is absolutely liberating and I did not know what this horse is doing it's remarkable the the power that we have in our mind we've now fully turned around and I think that if we can all start practicing these sort of things more then yeah I, I'm on a bit of a kind of upward slant with my mindset and it's amazing and a wonderful experience because I feel less anxious i my morning routine is so helpful meditation the yoga I do and then these mindset changes where you just choose to feel differently about something you just 
choose. It is that simple. You make a choice and it is hard and sometimes it's harder than other times and if there are inbuilt habits, things that have been in your body for a long time, choices that have been in your body for a long time, yeah, that's gonna be harder to break. But those, when those, those thoughts first come, I feel frustrated, I feel angry, I feel annoyed. I don't feel that anymore. I choose to let that go. I choose to be liberated from that thought. Give it a try. Anyway, I need to put my arm down because my arm is going to fall off in a moment. And I will survive it. Just doing our stretchy stretchies. I'm doing some poles. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, I sweat the stable line for yours already. Um, 
you probably would have seen he maybe stuck his tongue out a bit. He has a real point on his neck, kind of half, halfway down. I'll show you when I it treats him and when it gets tight he's like up with his tongue and puts it over the bit and stuff um i realized that was zora's first time doing trot balls so uh no wonder it was a bit funny and like well, to start with but i was really pleased with her she's coming on so much got a new saddle um and it's lovely because it really doesn't move with the uh, teamed up with the equitex it's great it's a uh, it's called a stride free saddle and it has a funny tree that doesn't sit on their shoulder and she's got this she really likes moving her shoulders so um it's great having a saddle that doesn't move i've been plagued with having a saddle that slips forward for a long time now so yeah that's all of the ones that are being treated exercise now uh so yeah let's go and uh let's go say hi to dietrich and show you guys what it's all about i think he's treating obi at the moment um and yeah, oh, Zora fell over a stone. Poor girl. Boots, you're quite happy to be intimately groped anyway, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> You don't see any kind of marked points of tension when you're working through his not body through, like this. Not through the saddle region, but again, sort of firmness in the glutes, the pelvic muscles, like a little bit of mm. softness. You can see him relaxing enough, it's not like he's sort of no. up and bracing against me. So you also lack sort of the active engagement of his back through the, mm. through the so he's got a decent flex and mm. yeah I'd say he's he it's it's the sort of like you say the effort the lift you know the bend and the if he wouldn't be very good at doing a crunch if he was a human you know that that right. posture where you lift your knee up towards your body yeah. that's sort of what he doesn't bother with he just he's quite He's kind of lazy in his in his action. I want to tell people all about the acupuncture. And I can put in a bit of that video from when you first treated her. Uh -huh. Because it's so interesting. If you were to give a dictionary definition of why we do the acupuncture, what would that be? And do you mind me asking you that? And no, you being in. Um, or oh, more sort of why we do it and you know what it's so good for. Okay. Do you know for someone, if you were explaining to someone who wouldn't know what we're doing here? Yeah. Basically, it's an efficient way to bring about a body reset mm. whatever, whatever the ailment is or injury is um, the nervous system adapts sometimes unhelpfully to long-term painful conditions or long-term you know it might be gut disturbance or chest disturbance mm. so those things cause changes that if you don't have a way to reset those it interferes with their self-healing mechanisms. That's all your homeostatic mechanisms, they're called. Uh, Did you enjoy that? Oh, 
Don't do that to me, Zora. Uh, so that's very interesting. He was pleased with Zora, how she had released off a few places. So this is the third treatment that they've had. Um, and uh, they now won't have another one for a few months, however I feel is I see fit. Um, yeah, so interesting. Um, you're talking about boots and his tongue and um, he's, he was really pleased with La Zor Laura, who's Laura? With Zora and how she's released off in certain places. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, they really, uh, they find it really stressful and it leaves them feeling really stressed. <laughs> Not. They're all sleeping. Tilly is like passed out. Boots has been here with his lip dangling. <laughs> He's like completely comatose. Right, back in the car. I need to eat something properly. But my bowl of granola seems to have subsided a while ago. Um, so I'm gonna head home now. Oh, I didn't eat my flapjack. No wonder I'm hungry. Head home and have some lunch. It's now 23. I've got to teach again at five. Um, but I wanna get, I've got to teach from five till about seven. So I wanna go home and have a cup of tea and sit down and then go again. Basically have a lunch break. I say it like it's a bloody miraculous thing. It's because, which is mainly because I don't really get a lunch break often. My staff obviously have a lunch break every day and I quite often just work through it, like I have just done. But yeah, pleased with all the horses today. We're feeling great. I love this weather, it makes such a difference. I can't even pretend that I don't look ridiculous. I'm just doing the end of my vlog looking like this. Hi. George has got great hair. George's hair is even probably worse than my hair turban that I'm wearing. Anyway, you stop. Really look good. We don't. I've got like a poop stain on my forehead from the fake tan. Looks like, like a horse, like a stable stain. Oh yeah. It's bad. Anyway. Uh, wow, what a long day. It's quarter past eight and I haven't actually long been home. Uh, great coaching this afternoon. I did some riding actually cause uh, the kids we're at school and stuff, so anyway, I go every week and either I ride the horses or I teach the kids. And today I rode, so I ended up riding nine. Quite a lot. We are making Thai green curry. George is overseeing the Just cooking. stabbing it about a bit, making him look busy. Stabbing it about a bit, making himself look busy. Can you put the rice in the microwave? We don't do boiling rice around here. Anyway, uh, I was just coming on here to uh, say what cool day I've had. And... Um, that's the rice, it's very good. That's the rice, it probably wasn't even in focus. It's good rice, it's great rice. It's like sticky jasmine rice, you can put it in the microwave. Anyway, <sighs> great day, really enjoyed it. Lovely to have uh, Dietrich there to do the acupuncture. So all the horses will have a walk day tomorrow, so they'll either groundwork or be uh, ridden just in walk. You kind of don't want them sweating loads. And also they have had that like reset in their body. So you want to give them some time to really feel that and enjoy that feeling. So yeah, I feel like there's lots of things that I haven't said that I wanted to say, but that's always the way it is. If I think of it, it'll be on my Instagram. Uh, right, now that the microwave is on, I'm gonna promptly finish this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment comment follow me on all my social media platforms in the description below yeah oh, what he said and i will see you guys the next time thank you so much for watching goodbye for now